I guess I'm doing an intro. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Top Five. You always Live. do the intro. You I always, always do, the do the intro. intro. Morgan, always do you always do the intro. I not always do the intro. What's going on, everybody? This is Top Five Live. I'm your boy, Javano Stokes. This dude right here is the one and only Danny J. Quick. We in the building. Morgan is late as always. You know how Morgan do. He just he just show up whenever he want to. Like I mean, this this like dude, people, I mean, my gosh. Like, can't you be on time? For real. But, but yeah, what are you, you doing know, at this, <laughs> I, I, this today we're doing top five white shows that black people like. I didn't pick this topic, y'all. I don't blame I just, me. It's just it's up. Just how's just, just wait a minute. Just pick the topic. He ain't gonna be I on the show. Just pick the topic. I thought I thought he was gonna be here. I don't know. I don't what, know. Did he get the link? I'm gonna send him the link. Yeah, yes. you go pick the topic and not be on the show, just in case. All right, hold um, on. Will you? My go list ahead. Is, you talk while I talk. While I do only this. First, my list is only for me. I don't know. My my list is not you know all black people or the majority of black people. I know what the black people in my house like, and uh, <laughs> that's, that's what my I, list is based off of. I'm not gonna lie, mine's is the same. Mine's are the ones that I like. <laughs> right, right. Oh man, I'm okay you, with that. What I wanted to I want to talk about X Men real quick since it's Go just ahead, me. Man. What, the, what you what you do you have any you know hopes for tomorrow's episode any any speculation anything like that? I think y'all about to really like Cyclops in the next episode. That's all I'm saying. If y'all okay. like if y'all like militant Cyclops, y'all about to see a whole a whole another side of this man. So I'm down for it. Um, there's That's, a lot of lot of folks that that just now getting on. Oh, just say can't do it tonight. Hey, uh, open. black people, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, boy, I love. Them. Nah, yeah, it's a lot of people that um that um, again we've talked about this before that only know like certain characters from the movies and the and the TV shows and you know if they never really read the comics any of the comics like they don't know Cyclops. You know, like I read, you know, Utopia and and like there are certain runs like the Avengers versus the X-Men where like Cyclops is Cyclops is that Man. guy, you know, that Cyclops, dude. Yeah, Cyclops is that guy. Um, So that's like one of the things that I based my like I'll base the way like I approach people about comics and, and stuff on. Is their opinion of Cyclops? Like, if they don't, if you don't like <laughs> Cyclops, then I know that you, you know, you're more into TVs and you know more into TV and cartoons. You know, yep, yep. Whereas it's hard not to like Cyclops because he's the good mag. I mean, he's the good Magneto. You know what I'm saying? Like Magneto has always been seen as the bad guy, but Cyclops is clearly on the good team with the same ideals. Uh, so- I don't agree on that. I posted something about that. No, why would you disagree? Because I feel like Magneto, Magneto is always about superiority. Like in his mind, mutants are the superior race. They're superior, you know. People, they feel like he that he feels like in they the comp- should dominate. Yeah, mm-hmm. they, I think even in the show he does to a degree. He says little things here and there. Yeah, but um, like, and, and then Professor X is more like, let's work together and live no, together no, and and, right. and live in harmony. I think Cyclops is square in the middle. Cyclops is basically like, y'all need to leave us alone and let us live. Like if we don't want to mess with y'all. We ain't gonna mess with y'all. But y'all keep messing with us. Stop mm-hmm. messing with us. Let us be alone. Like right. he's he's very much along. Like he's an isolationist, is what I put. So, like, if it were up to him, I think Cyclops would be very happy if all mutants went and lived on one island mm-hmm. and and was never bothered by humanity. Yeah. So you think you think the show is going to bring out that um, that perspective from Cyclops next? You think that the the whoever was first of all, whoever was in charge of or whoever, you know, set up the catastrophe that happened on Genosha. I think it was sinister. I think it was sinister. I don't know why it would be sinister, though. But I think in my brain, I think it's sinister because they at least 
introduced him as the main kind of the main villain of the show but um i don't understand why he would do that though yeah that's that's i i think that like the clues like the the green beams and you know the 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 color motifs and stuff would lead to it being like you know the things that they've done in the show that they showed so far would say that it's sinister but it could also be you know trask and you know that whole the what is it the foh uh, ml mlf the friends of humanity or oh, foh I, yeah. I keep thinking of the that's M, mlf is mutant liberation front yeah, um, yeah, yeah friends of humanity um so you know it could be them you know but i wouldn't be surprised either way what's up babe? yeah i don't think they're gonna bring in um cassandra nova that just seems a bit left field Why am I, closing I should have took a screenshot of what you was just doing right there. I'm not gonna lie to you. I missed that. I missed the opportunity. You can't see me. Come on, give me a kiss, girl. Mm-hmm. It could be, but you know what? That seems out. I can't left field. Okay, well, what the did the did what for left field? Uh, bringing Cassandra Nova in. Who was that? Um, in the original story, that that episode was based off it was her that did it oh really yeah are y'all for, making out? Like, what are y'all doing she, yeah i like to kiss my wife leave me alone instead of um, y'all making out <laughs> um so she got so she is who how is she who is she connected she is to? uh professor xavier's sister oh the twin sister yeah the one that he tried right. to kill in the womb that's right that's right i, I try to it. tell you man every time i try to explain stuff about x-men it just get weirder and weirder weirder and weirder i don't know um yes yeah, i don't think it was magneto's that wasn't magneto's that i don't think that was ever so magneto's opinion though not really oh no no well i don't you know i think he might have had it for like five minutes but he always went back to y'all y'all humans are beneath me yeah yeah I think they did a good job setting up the the tone of Magneto in this. Like, I still think he's, I still, I'm with Gambit. I still think he's hiding some stuff. And, you know, it could be, no, nah, it wouldn't be Mag- Magneto. Would, definitely wouldn't be the one nah. who did it. Mm. Um, he looked, probably sinister. I'd say, I, I'd say, um, what'd you say? Cassandra what? Nova. Cassandra Nova. That's a good guess. I think that's a. They could have, you know, kind of. That would be kind of like a blast from the past thing. I think that they're they're doing more with Cable, but I'd be more excited to see um, more development with Storm um, this week, really. But I'm sure they're going to go straight back to, you know, the aftermath of that. So, um, hold on. Kenny said, "Hold on, what up, Rick? Kenny says it was. That's why the government relented and have him." Have asteroid M, yeah, but that was him. He wanted to be by himself. <laughs> he wasn't trying to bring mutants there. It wasn't until mutants came to his front door. Again, y'all talking to somebody with a photographic memory for comic books. It's a gift and a curse. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean, you know, I I I thought that episode was amazing. Uh, Morgan finally came to he finally showed up. With the way this is turning out, do you think they should bring back the brother who spearheaded this entire project? I don't know why they fired him. <laughs> they still didn't say why they fired him. Sure. What I heard is that um, he was tough to work with. That's 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 the most amount of information that I heard. You know what's crazy? And Hold this on. might be canceled. Oh boy. But some of the best shows come from people that are tough to work with. They say, like, what about I mean, the, one of my favorite shows, um, Community? There's this dude named Dan Harmon. Dan Harmon is like notoriously tough to work with, but he did, like, he did Rick and Morty also. Um, he did. Oh, Community. yeah, I heard about him. Yeah, they say that this dude is terrible to work with, but he produces some of the best TV shows. Like, so I don't know, man. Like, the most talented people are a holes, man. I just yeah. it is what it is. I mean, yeah. we have a gentleman that we don't even say by name on the show that has put out hits 
after hit after hit. So uh, yeah. Ren, Ren says what, the what show is? is not as good as it. The show is not as good as everyone. Ren, you my you my man, good. hundred grand. It is but, to uh, me, sir. Yeah, you 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 lie. It's just as good as everybody said. It's not a perfect show by far. Like I said, it's. I was talking about on on Four Tales. We were saying because we had Malachi and Malachi. I think if you and Malachi, you know Malachi Bailey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you and Malachi got together to talk X Men, like I think that would be dope. We we got, talk like or Facebook from time yeah, to time. He got that. Fo- he got that same photographic memory. Like he was telling us like literal issue numbers that stuff. Oh, it's it's not trash. It's definitely not trash, Ren. You you, you tripping, um, Ren. You super ain't, not, ain't nothing trash about that episode. You just watched. Super bugging. Super bugging. Um, I think that it's they they sped through some things, you know, but I think that they are doing very well, um, with with picking up from you know where they left off and revamping stuff. So. Well, they're doing like greatest hits, like yeah, Ren. Yeah. <laughs> he said, See, I can't trust you. I can't trust. You. He said, I, I we can't trust with you. The X-Men 97s. <laughs> <laughs> I can't trust up, your How opinion you doing, on, on this. What's good, what Morgan? Up, guys? Finally made it. We thought your, uh, your, your, your Wi-Fi was jacked up. That's why I wasn't talking. No, I would have said that. Uh, I won't, I won't uh, <laughs> trying to interrupt. <laughs> I, Kyra said you look like you're being interrogated. By some cops in the forties, just a single light shining on you, Danny. I got the flowers. I got the flowers. Man, see, I got the flowers. Uh, Man, shit. Sh- sh- no, nah, they're speeding through. They sped through Inferno. <laughs> they did Inferno in one episode. Inferno was like, damn, Ren. Team books. Ren, you re- you really uh you really yeah. hate S men like that, man. Hey, man, Ren, who who, who who put a bug up your butt today, man? You all right? You, you need some hug. You need a hug. Send that man a virtual hug. We, we love you, Ren. It's okay. All right. What 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 else did y'all want to talk about? Did did you did you just say you say your piece, Morgan? You need to say your piece. I look. I I said mine in that in the reel I made the other day. Like that that episode episode five is one of the best animated episodes I've ever seen. I do think the only the only thing that I've had. Uh, it's not really issues with only because I think the show is still good. It, the only thing I've had issues with is they do seem like it's they're not taking time. They, they are doing it with assumed knowledge, you know what I'm saying? So they're, they're not taking time to introduce you to the characters to give you even more depth to when things happen. Um, they're kind of just rolling with it, you know what I'm saying? It seems like they're speeding through stories, but um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But shoot, the, the the impact of that last episode man listen that when when rogue that last line hit on a whole different level bro with and it was and it was great writing because they set it up but they set it up subtly uh it, the one of the best one of the ways that i always give a lot of credit to writers is if you can if you can if you can affect people's psyche and make them emotional about something in a short amount of time especially if you make if you can that that always impresses me like how how uh i think it, it goes artistically across the board period like we've talked about it on the show before like in, in in uh in dark night joker's only on screen like that movie's what two hours 30 minutes but he's only on screen what 30 minutes of the movie and you feel all 30 like you feel like he's you feel like the movie is about joker you know what i'm saying and he's literally not even on the screen for you know what i'm saying the majority of the movie you know what i'm saying to have that type of impact so in, in this episode to be able to effectively pull off you know what i'm saying rogue putting it in there about her not really how how she feels differently for magneto than she does gambit and the fact that it could be because she can't <laughs> touch him and, and the fact that it could be because she can't touch him and then her last line being you know what i'm saying it, again they set it up in, in a quick fashion, you know what I'm saying? But her last line being, you know what I'm saying? I can't feel you. That crap is different, bro. Like that crap, that crap is different. You know what I'm saying? So, so they, like, I don't think it's, I don't think it's, it's impactful because they lose for sure. Just like same thing with, with you know, Infinity War and, and Endgame, you know, they lost and it was impactful because you felt the weight of the loss. But I don't think, I think that they, one thing I was thinking about it, I, I think they killed the right people 
because technically you don't have to bring those people back. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't you, don't you speak they, about Gambit that way? I know, I know Gambit is your boy. And I don't know you Gambit speak about Magneto that way neither. Gambit is just important enough to like the to the pop culture of X Men. Gambit Gambit is known by a lot of people, but I don't think Gambit has the hugest storylines. You know what I'm saying? Like he the the you know what I'm saying? Like he doesn't have the just like Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler has some cool stories, but if Nightcrawler would have died, it wouldn't have you know wouldn't have been the end of the X Men. Now Magneto. We haven't seen if Magneto is dead. We saw that 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 the sent that Tri Sentinel said, you know, threat eliminated, but we had, we didn't see yeah, his body. He's dead. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really think he's dead. So yeah, he's dead of either. course, of course, they're setting up Cable to have to, you know, to have to come back and 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 change things. They may go that route. They may not. You know, they may go into, you know, some some different stuff. So. I'm, I'm, I, I've, I'm, heard, I've heard them say episode. Uh, uh, I could have sworn I seen somewhere that they say episode eight and nine are going are going to be even more rough. Um, I could have sworn I seen that on the blog somewhere. Um, I, but I, I overall am enjoying the series so far. Mm-hmm. But that last yeah, last it. week's episode, last week's episode was. I but like I said, the only downside that I see is that it feels like it's rushed like it feels disjointed like this it's not you think it feels disjointed i don't think it feels disjointed that's because you know all the comics I, I, for some, for somebody that doesn't know the comics me i have not read any of the comics so for me it seems like the story is rushed and yeah but that's the opposite if, if you knew rushed. the books then you would feel it be disjointed but if you don't know the books how do you feel like it's disjointed that i think, make sense. I think because it, it seems like the story is speeding along i think it's more rushed than disjointed i think that they are being consistent with the story that they're telling, but I think that they are doing it very quickly. So not not disjointed in the fact in like things are happening that are not connected to each other because everything that's happening is connected to to everything else. But I think that they are rushed. Like uh, Malachi said something that made perfect sense. He was like, if Madeline Pryor, so the episode, what was it, episode three? Or is it episode four was the... um when she said, oh, call me Madeline Pryor. Oh, yeah. She said, was, call me Madeline Pryor. Three, she, I think. I think, she's I leaving four. The, four. Four. She's leaving the dang on, you know, she's leaving the Dern X Mansion, and she's just like, oh, don't call me Jean, call me Madeline Pryor. And I think it would have been more impactful, like Malachi said, if she said she left and just said, I don't know, don't call me Jean, I don't know who I am. And then the next time they saw her, they would have, she would have said, Hey, I'm, I'm uh Madeline Pryor. You know what I'm saying? Instead of it being, yeah. you know, right there instantly, that would have been, you know, maybe more impactful, even though it was just a little, like, you don't even know how much time skipped in that, in that period. So. Yeah. Yeah. Cause the next time we see her, she, she's a big wig for the UN. So, I mean, Right. Yeah, I mean, but but again, I I agree with Danny. I feel like it, it might be rushed a little. I don't know if disjointed is the right word. Maybe it's it is a semantics thing. I'm... Yeah, I, I mean, overall, I mean, I, I'm still enjoying it. I think to answer Ren's question, uh, if they come back, does it lessen the impact? No, because you the impact is 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 based on that moment. You know what I'm saying? Like it's that moment and what it took to get to that moment. And there's nothing that's gonna lessen that impact, even if they come back. It, okay, it like again going back to uh, Infinity War, when they came back in Endgame, did that lessen the impact of seeing them disappear off the screen? Heck no, absolutely not. That crap ripped my throat out and stomped on my feelings multiple times over. When when T'Challa said this is no time to die, and then he went away, I almost went away. Like I, it was it was ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? And it didn't lessen anything. It it made it even more impactful for me for him to be the first person through. The portal, him and the Koya to be the first ones to walk through uh, the the portal, like that meant everything to me. So I mean, I don't think it's gonna lessen anything for them to come back. I think a lot of us know that they're gonna come back because we saw Cable. Uh, so well, why are we acting like comic book characters don't come back to life though? Like all the time, like all the I mean, time, guys. Like it's just a part of storytelling. Like it's part of comic storytelling. It's part, no, it's part of everything story. Everything, everybody has characters that die and come back. They made the whole. Do you, like, you you literally have TV shows that have had people characters die and come back. 
that weren't comics. Wait, soap what? operas? Glenn from no, not Glenn just soap from... operas. Not just soap what? operas. Come on, man. What TV show you know? Hell, Lost died, had somebody back. who died and came back. Who? Lost. They thought Glenn died and he came back from the walk. No, dead. Th- no. There's a difference between thinking someone died. But that's and the point, though. Died. That's the Those point. Two different things. But, I mean, but yeah, but they do that in all comics all the time. Like people, it's the not. Point, the it's not. Point. This ain't like. It's not the only. Like this is not the only medium where characters die and come back. But generally, that's, that's my own point. The only two mediums that I can think of that people die and come back in are comic books and soap operas. Science fiction does it all the time. What are we talking? Is about? the movie set up to be like that? Like, is it like a time travel movie? Because if it's not, why are you killing them if they're just coming back and it's not time travel or something? But um, what the point I'm saying. That's what I was saying. What Kenny is saying, like they literally have a storyline where the 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 mutants are immortal at this point. Like, yeah, in the comics. So, I guess I, I it's not just comics. That's that's my own argument. That's, that's I, I know it's comics and soap operas. <laughs> and sci-fi. <laughs> sci-fi does it, drama does it, people die what? on screen that come back. Hell, Buffy, Buffy the Vampire Slayer died, came back. Literally. Same show, same episode. Was okay. A- Archangel died. Came was back. it time? Was it like time travel for the episode? Nope. Like what was going nope. on in the episode? She died. She died, why did she they died come back? twice. Then why how did they come back? Magic. What? Buffy the Vampire Slayer was full of magic. Okay. What? Well, okay. All right. Okay. That's different. Okay. All right. Why, okay. Is <laughs> Why is it different? Because, but I, what I'm saying is, if there's a story element, right? That, it, like, you, when you say sci-fi, the only way somebody's coming back in a sci-fi movie is if that if that sci-fi movie is dealing with something that is like, okay, they they found a way to. Bring Neo died like, it, it's, it's literally driving yep. the story. Yes, he did. Neo, Neo died, Neo died, died and came back. All right, okay, y'all are right. Uh, <laughs> I'll just give you examples, man. <laughs> just give you examples. Uh, Hold yeah, on. they mixed three different massive story arcs from the books into three episodes. Yeah, they did. They I did. think they're doing like the greatest hits. That's how I look at the episode. So we're going to get Inferno, but we're going to get a smaller version of Inferno, which is fine with me because Inferno was like 18 yeah. books. You didn't need all the stuff from Inferno to happen. In the right. They didn't. They didn't. Um, the, what happened in uh, uh, this last episode is essentially an on-the-ground depiction of what could have happened in what, what book was that? Um, X-Men, New X-Men. So I mean I don't I don't think that was rushed because that was in one ep- that was literally one 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 book mm. so I don't know if it was rushed. Well, I, I'm now so the Krakoa again, thing, the Krakoa thing where they kind of did a hodgepodge kind of like Krakoa but not Krakoa. Sure, but as somebody that's coming from the outside in, it's definitely rushed. Like it doesn't seem like there's any effort to make you understand or feel the characters at it on any level it's just like i, don't, I disagree with that i don't agree on that man it, it is it, I listen don't agree on that. You, have you read the books danny they definitely want you to feel the character if you, you didn't feel, how, how you gonna make a whole you just said that Rose, you just said <laughs> what Rose, right what Rose did and said in the you just you just yeah. said, no I, what i'm talking about is setting like I'm talking about setting up for you to get to know these characters individually so that you get to so so that it becomes more personal to you so that when they die or if something happens to them um Walking Dead in its best years did a masterful job of that. The reason Walking Dead worked for so long is because they introduce you to those characters, they introduce you to what they wanted, they introduce you what their dreams were, the things that they wanted to do, who they were as a person at their core. And then you realize anybody can get it, and they yeah, slap them away from you. So you feel that you writer. feel that on a far greater level than you do on Walking Dead, Game of Thrones, same thing. They introduce you to the motivations, they introduce you to what it is they want, they introduce you to all of these things, and then that person can die. In this right. situation, they're going off assumed knowledge. You already know who Gambit is. You already know who Rogue is. You already know who Magneto wow. is. They're not introducing you to any of these characters. You're supposed to know who those characters are coming into it, and now we're telling you the story. 
So you think you only felt that for for Rogue and Gamut because you knew who they were? You don't think if you just jumped into season this season, you wouldn't have felt it because you just praised the writers for being able to do that quickly. Yes, but do you understand what what I'm what I'm pointing to? I didn't say whether or not it's effective in them having a evoking a feeling. What I'm saying is they're not taking time to introduce you to these characters and the different elements of these characters to get you to know them and then having story elements happen to them. They're assuming that you know these characters already and then having story elements happen. In a normal storytelling mode, you get you get people. We're right now trying to get people to know Ace Blade, Lumberjacks, Heat. We're trying to get people to know those characters so that if something crazy happens to them later, you felt on a greater level than it would be if it happened in the first comic. Or the second comic. We're five episodes in. You know what I'm saying? So, I, go ahead, Jamar. No, I mean, I, I hear what you're saying. Like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, you know, ishing on it. Uh, I do think that I, I do disagree because they they spent uh, almost a, an entire episode dedicated to Magneto, right? Like, developing his character. The second episode was basically introduction to Magneto. Right. So the first episode was basically introduction to the team. You got to see Cyclops like basically point of view. They established, you know, his relationship with with Gene uh, and then Wolverine. I thought that was his introduction, introductory episode. The second episode was basically why Cyclops and Magneto differ and then how they come together. And then they sprinkled in what they basically did was they sprinkled in in the background. It was kind of the B or the C story, what was going on with Magneto and Gambit and Rogue. And then I felt like this episode was basically them dedicating it to them. And the reason why I, I disagree that it didn't, that it that it uh, that it did do its job is because you did feel something when she said, I can't touch you. You just said that. You said that last line, that last line doesn't hit if they don't do their job over the last five episodes. You get what I'm saying? Like you feeling like all that stuff that was happening in that episode doesn't what? hit if they didn't do their job over the last few episodes. I think they're doing, I think Morgan and Ren make a good point. If they if they wanted us to care about Leech, they didn't. They did not do a good job with that because yeah, he's a sympathetic, you know, figure. He's got the big eyes and that stuff should have worked. But if you came into this season not knowing who the Morlocks were, I you did not feel sorry for them. You felt sorry about Magneto, Rogue, Cyclops. Those are the ones that you got, you know. Yeah, with. I have no idea. Who but you also have to take now. into account that they only have so much time. They only have so much time and so much space. It's but not that, like they – hold that, on, hold on, hold on. It's not like they have 22 episodes – to 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 establish all this stuff they got like 10 10 episodes the walking dead had like what 22 episodes so they yeah. could have a whole episode dedicated to rick or a that's whole the choice episode they made. huh that's the choice they made though no oh, that's not how I'm it not, works i'm not criticizing it all no, that's what i'm saying is, that's not how it works though you it, get a certain is. budget you get a certain budget to put a certain amount of episodes out like that's how it works what they I'm get a certain is, budget. Like the first, the first season of The Walking Dead wasn't twenty something episodes. It was, was it twelve or thirteen or something like twelve or thirteen? I need I to get them more episodes for the next season. Right. So if they if they had, I'm sure if they had twenty two episodes, you could do a whole episode just dedicated to this and dedicated to that. They only get ten episodes because of you know how. Hold on, they had twenty years. If this is a continue, what is it? What are you talking about, Ren? They didn't have twenty years. What are you talking about, man? The, the, the show. I think he's talking about the fact the show just came back, and if this show is a continuation of what happened before, right? And they had a lot of time to fill in the story and to get you to know these characters. That doesn't make sense. Well, well, how does that make sense? Well, that's the opposite. Because then, they did not have. I, but I don't this, understand. Go ahead. If it's a continuation, then the first, then the first four seasons would have gotten us to know these characters. Then, right? Like. Right, like, like if Rand is saying, you know, we don't care about the Morlocks. Well, if you watch the first four seasons, then you do care about the Morlocks. Right. So that's not. No, Ren, you don't make sense, right. Ren. What we're saying is, 
This is y'all. You're looking it at this as a, hold you on, just hold don't on. agree with hold, it. No, hold on. If you're looking at this as one show, like if this was a brand new X Men show, then I would totally agree with y'all. But this is like if they started, you know what it is? It's like the the what's the new Walking Dead show? That's out now with the, um, Rick the and Michonne. The ones who live. If you Walking jumped into Rick and Michonne, you don't have that connection with everything that happened prior. Yeah, so that crap would be might, a mistake. You so you get what we're saying. If you're if you didn't if you're watching X Men '97 and you're not taking the time to go back and watch the other episodes. Yeah, you're not going to see the relationship between Rogue and, and Gambit. Yeah, you're not like more like Danny said. Yeah, you're not going to see you know the Morlocks episode. They had like four or five episodes with the Morlocks. Like they 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 only have Ren. You only have ten episodes, guys. Ten episodes. This is not a twenty-two episode show. You got ten episodes, and they're giving good stuff. If you you what? there's no point in coming into a show new and being mad that you don't know what happened beforehand. The only point I'm making is that that is a that is a creative and, a, and, and a, that's a creative a hater man. Grant is a hater, dude. That that that's that's a creative and executive choice. Is, is was my point. My point is they're choosing to do the story like this, and whether whether it's because so they say, the, "All right, y'all got episodes to give me the best story that you can." Or they presented, a, we don't know which side it came from. It could have been the executive side. It's like, look, we're gonna give y'all a limited run to see if this works. Or it could have been, hey, this is a concise story that we have that's got, that we feel like. I well, guarantee you, it's money. This. I guarantee well, you, it's money. But we don't know that. My only point is, we don't know that. All I'm saying is, the reason that the story, all, all I'm speaking I, on is that the story that we're getting right now, though I like it, the only thing that I have, the only thing that I would say, is not even against it. Is the only thing that I would say though is that it seems rushed, and I understand why. I get it. I'm just saying again, not even saying it against it. I'm just saying it seems rushed. And you and there's and, and when and what Ren is saying is you had a 20 year gap. So let's say like let's say like they didn't just all of a sudden snap their fingers and say they're gonna put this show on screen. So let's say like maybe three years ago that this is when they start working on it's probably longer than that because animation takes forever. So we don't know what the time window is, but we've known for there somebody within the organization for Disney and for and for this show. Has known for at least three or some years that the show was coming, but before that, there was still a planning stage to say, "All right, how many episodes are we shooting? What are, what are, what story are we getting ready to tell? Whatever, whatever." And, and then they together had to make a decision on how they wanted to tell the story. For whatever reason, they chose to tell the story on in this fashion versus reintroducing the characters and then moving forward. You know what I'm saying? I'm not knocking either one. All I'm doing is talking. That's it. So again, I'm not saying that they're wrong for doing it. I don't give a crap. I'm watching it anyway. I could care less. I'm enjoying it. If they did it another way, great too. It doesn't make a difference. I'm not knocking it. I'm not talking against everybody's show. I'm simply speaking. That's it. I know. I'm, I'm think, I think that the one thing also, like TV is different now because, especially with like the fandom stuff, stuff like this. And I was thinking about this when it came to like the rap, rap beat with rap beef with like Kendrick and Cole and, and Drake, right? There's so much more content out there for the people who want to get to know like what the backgrounds and all that stuff is right like you literally can just go on youtube if you care about the stuff they give you enough in the show to care about the certain characters that are the stars of the show right but then if you want to know what happened in the first five seasons there are like 10 breakdowns they're like 10 high quality breakdowns on youtube that are like 10 minutes or just you, watch the old show or just watch the old show the old show is there and then also like there's so much new rock stars like i would i love it so much that i can literally just watch the show you know get up i'm gonna get up tomorrow morning i'll telework tomorrow so i can get up and i can just watch the show and then a few hours later if i want to get the deep dives and all the easter eggs and all the all the dang on you know connections <laughs> Ren is hating bro Ren, you a hater man if I, if I get all the your cornflakes man and think and see like what all the speculations and stuff is i can get that too you know what i'm saying which is dope about where we are today but i think that but I that's why i said that's why i used the rick and michonne uh show as an example mm -hmm. like 
if I like if again if I jumped into the show and to start watching it, I'd be sitting there like, I don't know what's going on. What happened? Like for me, I stopped watching Walking Dead a long, long time ago. Rick and Michonne were not together. So seeing them together it still is weird Dang. to me. Dang, bro. You watch you, you I, I, I like the book more than the show. That's just me. But you know, even the um haters call a person with their own opinions a hater. Dang. Nah, a hater's a hater. But um, but again, if you're if you jump into a show that has already has a, a background, it'd be like <laughs> if Lumberjacks <laughs> has a show, right? Like you and you ran four seasons of Lumberjacks, and then they took a hiatus for like five years, and they're like, Oh, we're gonna bring back Lumberjacks, same continuity, same this, same that, but you only get seven, eight episodes. You ain't gonna have you're not gonna take like full episodes to delve into things because I'm pretty sure you're gonna want certain things to 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 happen. Maybe storylines that happen within that last five years, you're gonna want to kind of put those out there. So you're not gonna have the the bandwidth to do those things. I think that's so. all that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that it wasn't rushed. I do believe I do think that is a bit rushed because yes, they are mashing together like storylines here and there like again it's not a perfect show Krakoa, it's not a perfect it's, yeah i'm not saying that is is ren hush we talking um <laughs> but that's that's all i'm saying i'm saying that they probably only had x amount because animation is not like they throwing money at animation nowadays you know they probably only had x amount um of of dollars to to Cause you again, you're paying the the amount of money that they give is what you pay the animators and everything like that. So you have to like, you have to like de- not delegate. You have to uh, you know spread that money around, and then you have to basically put a dollar number on each episode. So if each episode is five hundred thousand dollars to create, and they give you three point five mil to do the show, well, you got you do the math. So I, mean, I, don't, I don't think you got to explain that. I, 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 I but I'm it. just saying that's why they're using because um, you we were talking about the, the the ten episodes. Ren, I will repeat myself fourteen million times, sir. But that that's that's why I'm I'm saying that you only get so much time. So that's why I think the the level of uh, rushing is there. That's all I'm saying. So I yeah, definitely rushed. But it's a it's a good. I think it's a good show either way, whether. I can't speak from, you know, somebody who doesn't. Well, like I said, I don't know the storyline. I don't know all the storylines that they're doing. I know I'm familiar with Krakoa. I'm familiar with, you know, the the immortality stuff. Like I'm familiar with it, but I didn't read those stories. I didn't read. It's a good book. Um, you should read them. I, you know, I. It's um, but, you know, you're making excuses. <laughs> you're in the making excuses stage of this bad show. My if you didn't like your. Read- if you didn't like the original X Men, Ren, I can't do nothing for you. Yeah, Ren, just, Ren is in the minority. It's okay. You stay in that minority, sir. You stay there. Well, he's a black man. He's, I, he's used to being in the minority. Hey, listen, you stay uh, there while we're enjoying this and we're celebrating. You go back to watching. Um, I don't know. I'm, what do you like to watch, Ren? I'm, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to make sure that I praise uh, another um, fantastic adaptation i forgot i gotta look up the group that that did it but all all praise to bethesda uh bethesda studios uh for fallout and and and, and i gotta, I gotta watch that i haven't watched it i don't I, uh, I don't know nothing about fallout i'm going to give I them love fallout back in the day i'm going to give them all the praise that they deserve because i was when i say i was nervous Every game that I love, and they say they're going to make a TV adaptation or a movie adaptation, I cringe. So Last of Us and Fallout, Fallout get all of my praise because both are doing God's work when it comes to converting those from video work. games to, to TV shows and doing it in such an, a, an amazing Fallout storyline far outdid what I could have expected. Uh and they they did so much to bless us fans of the series that that have been following the series. Those of us who who love it and and have played all the games and uh, so I mean they did. Ask, stuff. Huh? Let me, let me ask you this then. So with same similar with the X Men, do you think that if 
somebody like Javon who's never who never played any other Fallout games. You don't need you know, to play. They can you can still enjoy the show without without question. You don't need to play. You you could have never played the game, and there's no way. They do a good job. But where where are they? Where are they in the timeline? Is it like Fallout Three? Is it New Vegas, or is it like it's in between three and four? Okay. But regardless, I don't even know what it's about. So I it but, never it didn't it didn't really like pique my interest. Yeah, see, Ren Ren never played the games. It, the the story to me that's a that is a that is a mark of incredible storytelling. If if you can come to this completely blank and not know anything about anything, the same with Last of Us. It, it was the exact same thing. When I was telling people to watch, go watch Last of Us, yeah, I said you don't have to play the game. Just go watch the show. If the yeah, only way that you're not gonna like it is if you're not into that type of stuff. So like Last of Us has some graphic stuff in it at times, uh, or some stuff that's gross because you're dealing with fungus. But uh Fallout, I mean, yeah, Fallout is similar because you're dealing with radiation, you're dealing with post-apocalyptic uh type thoughts, but the storytelling to keep you watching per episode was fantastic. They did a great job of driving a, a, a great story. But at the same time, for those of us who are fans of the video game, who are fans of the series, who are fans of the downloadable content, they paid homage to all of it. They Dang, paid homage to the Fallout. DLC? They 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 paid homage to, to Fallout four point five. They paid homage to Fallout uh, seventy six. They paid homage Dang. to three and four. They paid homage to one and two. They let touched me, every last one of them. Let me ask y'all this then: what which which like video games? That haven't been adapted yet. Would you do you think would make a good like God movie or series? God of War. Of course, I don't even know. I don't even know video games. Okay. I know that was you was going to say. Exactly what you was going to say. God of God of War easily. If but, they mess but, up God of War, Morgan. If, if they mess up Kratos, <laughs> I'll kill whoever made that decision. I'm telling you that right now. Morgan, Morgan that's the most never, important decision they can make. Morgan, whoever they crash, whoever they. Whoever they put in is Kratos. You better be right. They better be right. I will be. Oh my God! I could imagine myself. I would be, bro. Like I would be I beside imagine, myself. I, I just. Um, that show I haven't. Bad. I haven't watched Fallout. I just. I, I don't. Maybe I haven't seen what the real hook is. To like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, so the know. the game is about basically these these shelf. So there there are these people who are in these Fallout shelters, and they, you know. Um, like at a certain age, they get to decide if they want to, you know, leave the shelters. And it's like a post-apocalyptic landscape. There's a lot of people who are mutated and like the whole, there's a whole civilization outside of the, the vaults. And, you know, you're kind of getting introduced to this new world. Now, each game had different things. Like I only played, only played New Vegas and whichever one was before that. So I only played two of the games. Uh-huh. Yeah, I only played two of the games, but the games, you know, the two that I played weren't necessarily didn't seem like they were connected um at they all. They were in different cities. Yeah, they were in different places, so they didn't the get the two games that I played didn't overlap. But I'm sure those are like a bigger, you know, overarching connection. All, all, all of them, all of them are in the same universe. They just take place in different in different cities. Mm-hmm. So so Fallout 3 is New Vegas. Fallout 4. Uh Sean, don't play with me. <laughs> don't play with me. Hey, don't play with me, bro. Don't he said play Jim Carrey is me casting this crazy. Don't Jim. play with me, bro. Don't <laughs> me. They would riot in the streets. Bro. Don't play with me, bro. I, I would when I tell you I would lose it. Like I would lose it if they did that. They I, 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 I might try and watch it uh, I, if I can get a what chance. About you, what about you though, Javon? What what game or you know? I, I'll what, be honest with you. Or a comic book run? Do you would do you think would be good? A comic you book know, run? You don't do games. Yeah, because I mean, I, I ain't picked up a controller in juniors five, so six years. Mm. Uh, I yeah. I would love to see a TV show of the Immortal Hulk. Man, like I don't know if you read it, but that is my f- second favorite I, I Hulk. Right. Immortal Hulk. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I, I read the one that's still running. Immortal Hulk. No, 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 it's over. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it 50 I'm, issues. It was 50 I'm issues. That, I'm going to get the trades of it. I started, I, I, I want to say I was like 10 issues in, and then I was like, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the trades for this. So um, now that it's over, art, it, I need to see it. I'm, I'm about to go look right now and see if I can get that. 
Yeah, I know. No, I still Ren, gotta pick up. Ren, no, those, those, so some, some of those characters, some, some of the people that you saw, I don't want to spoil anything for people that haven't watched. Um, one of the big meetings, one of the big meetings that takes place in one in one of the episodes, all of those people are in the game. No, wait, some of those people are in the game. I can't tell you which ones without spoiling anything. Uh, but I'm a, I'm, I think I'm a Lucy. Lucy is is it Luke the reason the reason that they did the beginning of the first episode the way that they did where Lucy's sitting down with with the panel and she's talk and she's talking to them and saying what her what her strengths and weaknesses are that is you playing the game and you making your character and saying hey this is this is what I want this, this is where my strength will be this is where my um, endurance would be. This is where my scientific skills would be. This is where my intelligence would be because you have to make those decisions that you're making your character. So when Lucy was sitting down talking to the panel, that's a, that's exactly what she was doing. She was just she was she, Lucy was your creator character. You know what I'm saying? So um, and then you get the reason for why you're going to leave the vault because in every Fallout game, the, you you start with somebody that's a vault dweller that ends up with a reason for why they need to leave the vault. Um, it one of the things that happens in uh it's either the first or second episodes where the black where, where where the black guy comes in and he and he's holding the uh he's holding that device and he says <laughs> they're having a meeting he was like hey uh the overseer would normally you know what i'm saying do this behind closed doors but you know what i'm saying i don't know if y'all really want to you know what i'm saying do this night it was like no it's open go ahead and say it he was like well uh the water pump broke so we gonna need the whatever, whatever. When he does that, and they're like, "Oh, oh my God!" And then they get ready to panic. When he does that, that's that's literally from Fallout One. The mm -hmm. the, the reason that the reason that the vault dweller had to leave and had to leave the vault in Fallout Number One is to go find parts to fix that water thing because if they don't have it, then they'll they'll run out of water in like two weeks. So they did a really really good job of incorporating everything for Fallout One through Four Point Five and Seventy Six. Like they 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 put it all together. The one that's coming up that I'm sure is going to be garbage. I don't know if you played it, Morgan, but there's a game called Borderlands. Yep. I played. I played every Very single concerned. one of them, and I I think this movie is going to be so trash. I'm not going to see it. Super trash. But they another one, another one that they could come out with a game for. Far Cry. If they, come out, if, if they, if they came out with game. a movie, if they came out with a movie or a TV show for Far Cry, it would be fire. It Far would, Cry it, Five. There's a fifth one, right? Yes, Giancarlo's in it. Far Cry Five was oh, no, it's either five or six. Was like, was like super, super cheap on um, when I got my PS Five. It was super cheap, and that was one of the games that I was gonna pick up. But I was like, man, nah. you know, I know, I know me. I I literally only play one game at a time. So yeah, I was four. like, I'm gonna finish. Uh, I just finished uh, um, Horizon, which also would be a good one. Horizon would be a really good one. Um, yeah, yeah, that would be good. And, and um, you know, I just finished that, so I'm probably gonna pick up Spider Man next. Yeah, that I heard. I heard the new Spider Man is like that, like like that, like that, in all ways. So, so I, I but I'm holding off um, right now. Y'all watch the one with the clown. I, yeah, uh, Twist the Metal. Twist yep. Metal. I, and I heard that one. Was good. I, I've heard that one was pretty good. So I, I'm like I said, man. We are. I was just telling my boy this. Uh, we are in a golden age of entertainment. But I, to the teams that are adapting these video games into TV shows, you guys are doing God's work. Like, right. you don't understand the joy. I can understand where Javon's coming from now where he talks about, you know what I'm saying, yeah. going, growing up reading these comics, you know what I'm saying, and then being able to see them on the screen. The joy that I had in watching Fallout and seeing all the little things that they got right, not just right. Like, I'm talking, man, when Lucy was walking out in the wasteland and she got near that water and her pit boy started started going off with the radiation sound, that yeah. alone made me. I, I mean, I was like, "Yo, these mugs really the time, stuff like that." Oh yeah. my god, yo! It was it, when I saw the pit boy, and now they're selling the backpack. They're selling her her Vault three, thirty three backpack. If you think that crap's not gonna fly off the shelves, you got another thing coming. It always is about the merch. It's always I about the merch. You. I promise you, bro. Like if they if they ever come out with a Brotherhood of Steel suit that you can actually buy, it's over. Like it, I'm telling you, the, the Fallout. Again, you don't have to ever play the game, but if you watch that series, I I feel like you'd be hard pressed to not be a fan. Last of Us. The only way that you wouldn't like Last of Us is if you are just not into. Uh, I, I, I yeah, it's 
I I, I don't classify clickers as zombies. That's something else, bro. Cause them niggas. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Last of Us. As far I didn't as even the, finish Last of Us, to be honest with you. Last really? of Us. No, I didn't. I. I Did thought you it was enjoy okay. it or you just no, I thought it was okay, but it wasn't like it just grabbed me and held me my attention. Like I'm not saying it was bad. Okay. Glenn, in the game it's fire too. In the in the game, when um, you run up on the ghouls, it's fire. You another thing, another thing that was dope that they brought in that they brought to life, the raiders that are there, the ones that the ones that are cannibals, said, they, they, didn't, they didn't even tell you they were cannibals, they just showed you stuff. They showed. They showed. You telling the whole story. And just told the whole. Told the whole story. Story. That's not spoiling anything, though. That's not spoiling anything. I didn't know the booth. I didn't know the booth were, were in the show. I didn't know. know I didn't even know this Raiders, man. Uh, one yeah, of the characters' name is Magoo. How do I know that? I didn't know that. I didn't know they were in the show until you were. How did that spoil anything? I mean, you know, you just ruined the whole thing. So they're doing it. So they're not just doing Fallout. They're not just doing um, one then. No, no. They, they're starting. They they started their own storyline and there's stuff that's happened before. And in this season, they do a really good job of telling you what led to the Great War. You know what I'm saying? Oh. So uh, Fallout. Um, they, they they do a great job of telling you what led to the Great War, and that is the biggest thing. But those of us who played the game. This gives us a whole new perspective, even on that, because we all know about the Great War. Because one of the things that's a tagline in every Fallout game is "War never changes." They say that at the beginning of every video game. So everybody knows about the Great War at this point. You should anyway. Uh, is there a Fallout on PS Five? No, but they're getting ready. They remat. They're remastering four to 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 put it on PS Five, and I'm got, I'm about to replay ye all of it. So. Oh my, yeah. That's that's a game that I might pick. I like open world stuff like that. So um that's one that I might pick up. Do y'all one last question before we get to the list. Do y'all prefer um binging shows? Like so Fallout came out with all the episodes at one time, but X Men is coming Sorry, out. That doesn't spoil the story week though. Week, week by week. Is it do y'all prefer one or the other or can you, you know I prefer binging mostly because I'm selfish. So I don't, <laughs> I'm not a selfish person, but when it comes to content and wanting to watch something, I would mm-hmm. watch, like three body problem, three body problem. I saw people talking about it and I, I was like, to say it. And, I, and I saw people talk about it. I was like, man, I don't know, man, or whatever. But then once I watched an episode, because don't say the, nothing, because I'm not, stop. I'm just, the yeah, story you said that about Fallout, and here we are. I like, didn't spoil anything like on Fallout. Twenty minutes later, you. you didn't tell me about ghouls and everything. I ain't even. I ain't even not, know the Raiders. That's not spoiling. I ain't even need though. to know that, man. It I'm doesn't trying, spoil anything. I like to go in fresh. Like it I don't doesn't spoil. Know it doesn't spoil anything. Um, yeah, like three body problem is really really good. Like uh, it's very. Good. I just haven't had time. It's very very good, and and uh, I and I love. Um, Again, we, we're in the golden age of entertainment, bro. Like, I, I, it makes me very happy to find new things to watch. I'm also a nerd, so watching documentaries and getting more information on something I didn't know about, um, I'll admit I missed having something to look for. Hopefully, forward to every week. hopefully, yeah. I, hopefully, there, there are some platforms. Uh, dang, bro! I hope, I hope she's all right, Sean. Oh shoot! Please take, yeah, oh, take man. care. Of this Sorry to hear that. Um, Wheat man, devoting man. I ain't been able to post a poll in weeks because they effed it up in the group. I, I, I figured out. Um, but yeah, man. I hope I hope wife is okay, man. Yeah, um, I started I started winning, and all of a sudden the polls broke. Ridiculous. Oh, you go on there. Look, you got the same access, and you would add me just like me. Go put the poll no. up. No, hey, bro, that ain't my job. That ain't, ain't that ain't my job. Do it, buddy. That ain't my job. That ain't my job. I, uh, I, I made the post and, and I show you, up. You, it ain't it ain't your job to complain either. You doing it? Uh, I'm complaining. I'm complaining. That is my job. I get paid um, for that every week. No, <laughs> Imani, Imani. Uh, I I like both. I like the fact that I have the option to pick both. Like you know, what I'm saying there are shows that come out every week and, and create that anticipation. Again, that's one of the things I miss about Walking Dead. I was in two groups. I was in two Facebook groups for Walking Dead that were waiting on the next episode to drop, and we would literally be talking live while the show was on i can't wait till house of dragons comes back on so i can talk to my family while me, me my dad my aunt my cousins you know what i'm saying we talk while game of thrones is on you know what i'm saying team black all day over here but uh 
I can't wait for that to come back. Like again, we are in a golden age of of of, 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 of television, and, and uh, yes, Shogun is fantastic. Fan yeah, it's on my list. Fantastic. Fantastic, bro. Is that the Bruce Lee one? No, it's not Bruce Lee, man. It's... No, <laughs> that's no, the most not. racist thing you know. <laughs> Yeah, that was crazy. Oh, is there, no, is there a Bruce Lee crazy. adaptation? I think there's a Bruce Lee story. That, that, right 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 no, that was I'm not crazy. No, I'm not saying because of that. Crazy. I'm saying because oh, it's I out think, there now. You just said it. That's crazy. No, I'm saying it's, the, it's I already a meme. It's too late. I believe yo, that's crazy. My, my nigga Lee. said, yo, is Bruce Lee in that? Hey, Jet Lee in that one? No. Is that? Is that? Somebody told me recently that there is a. Is Lucy Lou in there? Of a Bruce Lee story that is on Netflix right now, so I hmm. thought that it might have been called Shogun. Nah, Sh- Shogun, like Shogun is on Hulu. FX, yeah. it's on. It's on FX. I watch it on Hulu. Okay, Warrior. Um, yeah, Warrior. That's what it is. It's called Warrior. Hey, Warrior. Let me let, yeah. let me tell y'all something. I, those are all the shows we just said are shows I highly recommend watching. Three Body Problem. I, I don't know. How if, y'all if, have you, time if you to watch all these shows, if you're if you're man. into sci-fi shows. If you're into sci-fi shows, you must watch Three Body Problem. Um, Shogun is just great. It is great. I, I there's nothing about it I don't like. Um, I'm always well, doing no, something. Obviously. Like I'm sitting in front of a TV. I'm always like writing or drawing or something. So I can't watch something that I haven't watched before because then I got to take my attention away from what I'm doing. Okay. Well, so, I, I don't know. I, the only I thing, like, I have to like, like, like X Men. Like I will sit at my table, my drawing table, and I will turn it on, and I'm not working. Like I'm gonna watch the show, and then when it's over, then I go back to drawing. So I don't know how y'all have the time. Plus, I don't, y'all don't have a five year old in your face. Oh, I make the time. No, don't you oh, worry about yeah, it. LeBron, you know LeBron just got hurt. Once I get, once I get, yeah, he uh, got hurt. Once I get, uh, <laughs> once I get little I man uh, situated, me and me and. Once I get Little Man situated, we about to sit down and, and watch whatever's on. So I need CJ McCollum to stop sucking. But um uh I've been fascinated by the Christian disorder. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, Amani, I, I um I I don't think that I, I I love that they're doing that because I don't think that people think enough about the historical debauchery that took place <laughs> use it in, in in the name of religion and, and god knows colonization so um i love that it is delving into that but i also love i just love the storytelling they're doing a fantastic job of storytelling and like it, it reminds me very much so of game of thrones and showing you the different factions and what it is they want and why it's not nearly on the epic level that game of thrones was I, you know I, you don't loosely compare things to game of thrones but um yeah, like I, I, again, golden age, bro. Like I, I'm so happy, and, and 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 all of us as creatives hope to join those leagues of people that are telling really good stories that people want to see on the big screen. Like, um, I, I but I'm gonna praise it one more time before we do this list. Bethesda games, we ain't getting there. None of that. The group, we ain't the group nothing. That, we was going to talk about <laughs> the group that converted this game. Into this fantastic TV show, you get all of my kudos, you get all of my praise. Uh, Last of Us, I can't wait for Last of Us to come back. I know that they've already picked who Abby is, and I pray God's with her uh, because for those, you, for those of you guys who have never played Last of Us, boy, do you have it coming for you this season? <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> I'm not I'm not spoiling nothing. I'm just telling you, if you thought season one was good, oh Lord. <laughs> and if you <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. If you thought season one was good, oh Lord, that I'm gonna leave it right there. That way I can't spoil nothing. Uh for those of us who have seen it, y'all know what time it is. So I can't wait. I just can't wait to see how to handle it. Uh, they I, heard, I heard that. <laughs> I heard somebody said that people gonna hate her in real life. Whoever the oh, actress no, no, no. Is- people already hate her in real life right now. <laughs> yeah, terrible. Literally, if she doesn't have security, she should get it. I'm not even BSing. I'm not BSing at all. I'm dead serious. That that there is you could argue that there's no more hated character in video game history than her. And I mean that. 
Uh, so I know people that literally won't even literally have not even finished last of us because of her. So, um, until Don had a character like that too, but anyway, let me start nerding out on video games. Um, y'all ready to do the list? Or y'all want to, what is something else? Man, we didn't talk about the cam thing. I guess we could talk about it uh, next week though. It, it's up to y'all. Uh, cam had multiple points in that, in that one thing in that one block that one of y'all tag tag to the group um yeah that that cam conversation was good but let me get my list in so i can uh so i can get on the fight ahead so you can go trying to go watch, watch. Being to watch. you ain't fooling nobody, nobody nigga. Hey, i'm just i'm being honest with you i want i nah, want the lake i want the lake they, they can go ahead and get to denver i'm trying to go ahead and make it happen let's do it mm, yeah no uh, uh let me see all right so this uh, and you weren't here when we talked about it earlier, more. But this list is strictly the black people in my house. <laughs> this, oh. this list is strictly sitcoms that the black people in my house enjoy, and some okay. of them are, are are lists that are are shows that you know I've heard black people talk about and stuff like that. But there's not it's not a like it's not a lot of like shows that like. You know that black people really take ownership of, yeah, but I know I know there are some that if we did the opposite, like white shows that black people don't like, I would be able to make that list. <laughs> I'd be able to make that list a lot easier. All right, so my list is number five. Um, pretty much anything with Andy Griffith in it, but for the <laughs> sake of this list, for the sake of this list, the Andy Griffith show. Uh, I would say Matlock. If, would y'all would y'all consider Matlock a sitcom? No. Yeah. Okay. Matlock is not no damn sitcom. What are you talking about? I think it is. I a, it Matlock is a drama. It's not a hey. drama. It's a comedy. Like, it is not a com- Matlock. Matlock. Is I consider it one. I can see it either way. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Listen to uh, me. You said, up, you said Andy I Griffith show. Me. Listen to me. I, I grew Andy up show. watching Matlock with my grandfather. It is not a comedy. I didn't just grow up watching it. I still watch it today. Matlock no, is not comedy. a comedy, dude. Number four. <laughs> okay. Not a comedy. Number four. Yeah, stop it. Number four is uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine. Uh, I don't know if y'all seen it. It's the one with uh, Andy Samberg. You feel and... like that's strictly a white show? That, I don't know if I would call that a, I white, show. a white show. I think it's a white show. Okay. But I, th- I mean, it's got Terry Crews isn't like a black icon these days. You they know got what I'm all minorities, really. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah, the two black good cops, in that show. the two Hispanic, the chief is black. Cops. Right. Yeah, but I mean, Brooklyn Nine Nine is not a. It's definitely not a black show. Anyway, so these next two are definitely white okay. shows. Number three, Boy Meets World. I don't know if y'all remember that from back in the day. Of course, I remember that. Nobody forgets the finger, bro. Your girl to paint it. That's all. Nobody, you nobody forgets the bank it, brother. <laughs> um, number two, uh, home improvement. Y'all remember Tim? Tim the That's good. Man. Okay, close that the door, is, buddy. That Tim is a really good one, bro. Yeah, me and Tiana really love that one. Okay. And then, um, my number one. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know it's the office. <laughs> y'all know it's gonna be the office. Is that a white show too? I guess. Definitely. I don't know. The office is definitely a I white show. Watch it. I don't know. I, the office is definitely All right. I'll, I'll go next. next. You want to go next? Yeah, yeah. I'll get my go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Uh, so for me, number so I did my list of like what like white shows that are extremely popular that all of us have watched or know black people that do watch them. Because uh, there's, let me see how many of these shows I've never watched an episode of. <laughs> two, two of them I've never watched an episode of. Three of them oh, I have. Um, Here we go. So number five, the Wonder Years. Uh, okay. That joint. Now I still remember the. I, I okay. still remember the whole thing for that joint. I watched that. I, I watched it before. I can't like I give I've, you like a full discography. Really? Yeah, I don't think I ever seen that one. I used right. to watch that one. What time, would man. you do? But I still remember like the song and everything. Yep. Yeah. Um, I used to watch that every week. Yeah. All right. So that's that's my number five. Number four. Full House. Mm. Uh, okay. I definitely, okay. Used, I definitely used to watch that. 
I watched that uh, growing up. Uh, quite had a the bit. crossover with with Family Matters. Yep. yep. I, mm-hmm. uh, they had a crossover uh, with uh, what do you call it too? A uh, Perfect Strangers, I believe. Oh. Ashley and uh, Mary Kate. Yep. Mary Kate. Um, Everybody was watching. That's, that's the whole reason they're famous to this day. Sure. Uh, if you said you, if you was around that, if you were around that time, you lying. If you said you wasn't watching Full House, you lying. Yeah, I don't believe you. Uh, number three, I agree with Danny. Boy meets world, bro. You don't forget Topanga. You do not forget Topanga. Everybody had a crush on Topanga. Topanga you know, is universal. Boy meets world was good too. They actually did a um. Yeah, yeah, I remember that with the with the, um. I didn't watch with, that with Corey's kid. He had a daughter. Yeah, that show was actually pretty good too. All right, um, that's two, right? That's number three. That's number two, Seinfeld. Uh, I have never in my life seen one episode. You don't know what you're uh, missing, man. That show is hilarious. Now, is now great. I am full. Now I do like Seinfeld as a as a the the. Times that I like the only the only, the longest time that I watched Seinfeld speak speak about something is when he was doing the show with uh, David Letterman. Uh, he was on with David Letterman on Netflix when he was doing his interviews. He did one with Dave Chappelle. He did one with Seinfeld. Um, and so many different comics look up to him or or are inspired by him and what he's done, not just with that show but in the stand up. So he gets all my respect, but I just never I've never watched the episode. Uh, and number one, I'll be there for you. I mean, come on, son. Friends is like black, black people hate that show. No, they don't. Lies you tell. That's false. Lies I don't like friends. You tell. Lies black people you tell. absolutely love friends. They just, I, they're, but they're fully aware that girlfriends is the black version of friends. Like, and it was the nah, original. You mean, like, you mean, diff- oh, you mean, uh, sing- living single, living single, living single. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Living, living single was the original version. You know what I'm Look, saying? Friends but, was not funny to me, bro. Y'all are crazy. I, I, I again, I, that's another show man. I've never watched an episode of. Friends is hilarious. I don't uh, care. I I'm not that. hating. I'm not hating on it. I'm just saying I, I, I just never, you know, I never watched it. The show that I preferred over all of them was, uh, Frasier. Frazier was good. Yeah. Frazier was really good. But yeah. I watched right. Frazier. I watched Frazier. is hilarious too. I was watching that whole block of stuff. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. Back then. All right, my I turn. Say by the bell was close to me. Say Dog, I forgot about Say by the bell. But again, don't, don't try to put on it now. No, 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 I'm not. I still I won't put it over these. Uh number five. A- again, this show was being watched by everybody when it came out. They got black people singing the theme song to the song to this to this show to this day, the Golden Girls. Mm, yeah. Everybody was watching the Golden Girls. Golden Girls is a good show. Number I four. Number What's four. That, huh? The Golden Girls from from Mama's Family. It was a there was a spinoff. Yeah, I used to watch. Wait, what? One was a spinoff from the other, right? It was Empty Nest was a no, spinoff no, no. from Mama from from Golden Girls. I'm talking about Mama's Family was a different one with the old. Um, no, that's different. Uh-uh. Golden yeah. Girls wasn't a spinoff. I don't think so. That was a good show too. But go ahead. Yeah. Uh, number four, yeah. I'm gonna go with Friends. Again, there's a lot of black people out there lying that say they don't like Friends. There's a lot of them that's lying. I'm not saying lying. this y'all. I'm just saying there's a lot of them that's I lying. I I'm definitely not lying. I ain't never seen the episode. Number three, Seinfeld. Again, hilarious. I've probably seen every episode of Seinfeld and Friends, truth be told. Uh, number two, this show had like one of the most watched last episodes. So, I mean, some black people was watching. Uh, cheers. Absolutely. Black, absolutely. Cheers? Yes. Well, you got number one, MASH. <laughs> Mash, absolute, Mash had the most watched like last episode of all time, dude. Everybody oh, was bro. watching Mash. No, oh, bro. Everybody was watching Mash. Hey, listen, what, you, you really tell- got number one is Mash. Yeah, Mash is number one, bro. Listen, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm not not having them nineteen seventies ep- uh, list, bro. Am I not <laughs> supposed to put a? Am I not supposed to put a show because it took place before him? I got. Two shows that were within like I mean I could put That's other shows, but though we if we're doing the I best like, shows, like 
I feel like MASH is, is I mean, like those shows like Cheers and MASH had a had a, an advantage because there were no black shows around at that time. Ooh, like, hell, you started. act like, well, hold on. Definitely you act agreed. like there was a ton of black shows when the Golden Girls was around. It wasn't a ton of them. Again, Thank yeah. you for being a fan. What about Designing Women? My mother used to watch the crap out what? of Designing Women. Designing Design. women. Oh yeah. Oh, no, I never My mom used to watch that all the time. I had a crush on the brunette, bro. I don't remember oh. their names. I had I could have put New Girl. I love oh, New Girl. No, 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 don't do that. New Girl, New Girl is fantastic. Girl. I don't think that's strictly a white people show. That is a very Caucasian show. This is a very Caucasian show. They even point right. to it being a really Caucasian show in the show. They um <laughs> I know they, they switched out one of the black characters like super early. Yeah, uh, Damon Wayne. They brought him back though. Have you ever watched? He the came show? back, but when Winston took over, D- Danny, seen, have you ever watched it? I saw a couple of episodes, and it's fun. It's a funny show, but I never, I never really got into oh, it. That's my show, man. New uh, I could have put How I Met Your Mother. I was gonna put Psych on here, but that's not. I, I don't consider that a strictly uh, white show. Yeah, yeah. Well, mm-hmm. oh, man, I love Psych. I love Psych, Psych too. That's a great. One. I love Psych. Yeah, I, um, I, I like. I could have put. I, all the uh, USA shows I like. I definitely could have been saved by the bell on here. Yeah, yeah say well, yeah. Even though I had like yes, yeah. yeah, it's still really white. Yeah. But y'all y'all can cons- y'all don't consider modern yeah. family has kind of like the, the nah, premise of the show, show. That's a very white show. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. That's a very white show. Uh I Buffy mean, the Vampire Slayer. I almost put Buffy the Vampire Slayer. If it's on ABC, it's white. That's not a sitcom, I mean, though. Buffy's not a I sitcom. I know, I know. When y'all said sitcoms, I, I, I didn't put it on. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got to put Roseanne. Roseanne, yeah. yeah. Black, people, black people like to, Yeah, I, I agree with you. You didn't like Roseanne? Roseanne? That's one mm-hmm. that I did watch. I did, the first time I around, I know she was racist at the time, but. Yeah. No. Uh, what else could I put? Uh, I didn't put The Office because I just didn't feel like it was a white show, even though it is. Definitely is. Uh, uh, what else? Uh, Arrested Development is a super white show. Um, Parks and Recreation too. I've never watched yeah. one episode. That's a you good one. Parks and Rec. I've never watched Parks I think, and Rec. I think you specifically would like Parks and Rec. Do you like Tina Fey? Wait, wait. Which one is Parks and Rec? Parks and Amy Rec. Is uh, Amy okay, Poehler so and, and I watched uh, one episode of it, and it didn't. It really. It didn't really catch me. I, I, yeah, I, I know man, like, you Danny, gotta you gotta like catch like you know what I'm saying like you gotta catch me yeah, like the I mean, show's Danny, gotta Danny, like get me I know a lot of his favorite shows are that run like those three so community uh parks and rec and um, no I, I don't parks and rec was good but it's not to me it's not the with office. community in the office it's not at the level of community in the office or Have scrubs, you ever watched scrubs is probably my third one like scrubs I never watched scrubs. 30 run I never. I saw one episode of Thirty Rock. Yeah, Thirty Rock right. didn't catch me. Either. Have you ever watched Happy Endings? No. Mm-hmm. Oh man, you got that's with Damon Damon Wayans' son in it. Don't sound appropriate. I think that's no, no. It's it's not what you think it is. It's trust me. It's really it's really good. If you if, it's like New Girl. It's basically. I'm on. Just like on here. <laughs> but that's not white, so it's not completely it's, white. Hey, I, I get I get you one. I know a whole bunch of black folks be white. Uh, used to watch Will and Grace. Will and Grace. Yeah, but that's just because I checked oh, out. Brother, so yeah. cute. What's her name? Deborah Messing? Yeah, buddy. Every all, all, all black folks up. was watching that. I had to look every head up, boy. I said, yeah, who is that? Sex in the City. Yeah, buddy. I used to watch that now. I've never watched an episode of Sex in the City. I used to watch that. Yeah, mm-hmm. Happy Endings is why was why Damon. Yeah. Yeah. Have I y'all was, seen um, um have y'all seen The Good Place? I watched no. Uh, I've heard I've heard the concept. Maybe, I maybe watched like five episodes of the first season, and it didn't really catch me. I really I really enjoyed. It. We watched it. I want to say we binged it on a road trip, and it was it was very good. It was very good. I, I somebody I, like spoiled I heard, the ending for me, and so I went and back yeah, and heard, watched the last episode. episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm never so gonna watch it. So I just want to see the, the twist. What'd you say? I don't mean that as like some type of snob. I'm just saying I don't think like I would. Do no, the concept, the concept of it was good. 
Yeah, but I, I don't. I I typically don't watch uh, comedies like that. I guess I don't know. Uh, it's too white. The good now nah, the good place was was more of a. I'm joking. It was, it was a comedy. It was Ghost pretty good. What? This that new oh, show Ghost? Ghost on CBS. Yeah. Um, I honestly have never watched the episode. I don't watch much stuff on CBS CBS anymore. That's what I'm saying. I I just don't watch that. I don't gravitate to that type of stuff. Otherwise, I probably definitely would have watched The Office, like deadpan stuff and like the you looking off camera stuff like that. No. Man, it's such a good show, man. You've it's, never watched The Office. Wow. No. It's wow. such a good show, man. You've got I, like Tiana, I said, I, t- I has that same Tiana got that same issue. She refuses to watch it. And I'm like, if you would All just right. sit down and watch the first season, you would love it. But she I definitely don't watch. watch. She don't like she I doesn't like dry humor watch. stuff. And she doesn't, she's not uh Michael Scott didn't get her like as quickly as he got me. So I got you. No, no, no. I'm, I'm like, with you. If she if she I would t- give us t- t- time, I think she would love it, but she just I, I didn't like Michael either. Like to be honest with you, like I powered through because everybody else was funny. Yeah. But like I didn't like Michael Scott's character. Dwight and Jim, I did, I, Dwight and Jim got me yeah, quickly. Dwight and Jim got me. Pam and Jim got me quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, Everybody yeah. else got me, but Michael, Mike, Michael was constantly like. So there were some episodes I was like, "Dog, I can't do this." Yeah, he was. He was definitely. <laughs> but that yeah, <laughs> the fire, I, I, dog. Oh my god! That you, that, said, Mike, oh, yeah. you know which one I'm talking about, right? You said the one with the fire. When he with Dwight. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that <bridge? laughs> Yeah, hey, Dwight Yo, was Dwight was crazy, bro. The first time I saw that episode, I promise you, I was crying. I was I was crying. I had the, tears in my eyes. That was a, it was like the funniest ten minutes. The, the Christmas, I'm the not, Christmas not, episode not killed me. The first Christmas episode killed me, and then there was an episode where, um, where he ran over the girl. What was that? <laughs> He hit the girl with the car. Yeah, the girl. That joke was so funny. I was like, "This is crazy," but you know, yeah, when he had the, the when he had the dog, it, it during the fire, and he threw oh. it up into the <laughs> ceiling. Hey, that joke came. It's crazy. That show is crazy, man. Like, yeah. and it's no, still I- up. like that's one of the shows that I'll that I'll put on in the background, like and just just binge it. Like I'll do that with you know. Uh, Voyager, I'll put like you know just a show to put on like and just run through the whole series as I'm working on stuff in the house or whatever. That's and what I'm still, doing with uh, How I Met Your Mother right now. Yeah, that's the one I need to watch. I heard good things about that. It's, it's good. It. It's good. I, I I like it, but you can tell towards the later seasons mm-hmm. that they were trying to keep it going, even though they wanted to end the they story. They were forcing. Yeah, they were like forcing it. Dang, like, you can tell. Eight points. Huh? I got 28 points. But yeah, I mean, How I Met Your Mother is good. New Girl is one of my favorite shows of all time. Mm-hmm. I, I, it's literally one of my favorite shows. I, don't, I mean, I love New I love New Girl. Oh, Alvarado. Wait, you like New, wait, hold on. You like New Girl? Yeah. If you like New Girl, you like The Office. Yeah, for sure. For Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Yeah, but before. I'm not. I, I caught New Girl on like a whim. I'm not going to. I can't see myself like office on will. Bro, I mean No, I, I legitimately <laughs> was like it don't work. Yeah, like you, that. it's the same. No, it doesn't. It's that that's that's like me. I like romance movies, right? Like if I watch it, but I'm not going to the theater to go see a romance movie. Like I'm just not. It's not gonna happen. You know what so I'm saying? Weird. So what? It's very weird. Like I like this thing, I, I but just, I'm not gonna go out of my way to watch this thing. I go to the theaters to see specific type of movies, the movies that I love the most, which are horror, uh, some action. type of action, suspense, something like that. But I, I'm not gonna go see. I haven't uh, been to the movies to see a comedy in a long time. Actually, oh, it's, if it depends on what it is, because obviously I love Issa Rae, y'all know that. So uh, when Issa did her joint with uh, Lakeith Stanfield, um, I forgot the name of it, but I oh, went to go right, see that. Uh, pictures, something picture photograph. Yeah, the photograph. I went to go see that in the theater. Um, I saw that. When when I watch movies yeah, like yeah. Thirty First Dates or uh, the joint that Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston did uh, on Netflix, like 
when I watch them, I typically okay. enjoy them, but I'm not going to seek that out is, is what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So uh, if I fall across it, I wouldn't, is, I don't think I would dislike it. I just am not going to seek it out to watch it. So hey, I got you. Um, All right. I got to be out. Yeah. I'm, I'm about to go check on little man. I, and, uh, I have no idea what to do for a topic. We should, I'm telling you, we should do that R&B draft, that R&B concert draft. I mean, put the poll up, bro. I mean, if the, if the people say they want it, then we'll do it. I mean, they well, already who, can, who can make the best concert in a draft? Me, obviously. Seriously, I mean, why are we discussing this? But anyway, yeah, just put the poll up, and then we'll go with it. I mean, I don't know what you went off screen for. Uh, All right, y'all. We love y'all. Thank y'all for watching again. Uh, continue to tell people about us. Um, we are on, on, on YouTube. We're we're over two thousand subscribers now, man. So um, we appreciate y'all. We pre- everybody that's telling somebody about us, uh, or or you know whatever we, it is we're doing, man. We appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. Um, we got to get our hours watched up. You know, what I'm saying I think we got to get like forty thousand hours watched on the channel before we start getting paid. Uh, so hopefully. Hey, tell your people to come watch the show. You know what I'm saying? Tell them they'll enjoy it and uh, they can take part in the conversations. They can go to the Facebook group and have conversations with us uh, or, you know, get in on some of the uh, trifling polls that I put up sometimes. Um, But yeah, man, we appreciate y'all. Love y'all as always. See y'all next Tuesday. And if you got an idea for a topic, put it in the group. Uh, Y'all know Top 5 Live Nation on Facebook. Put it in the group. DM me uh, if you got a dope topic that you want us to do. and yeah, we'll see y'all next week. Love y'all.